I'm telling you, it's some good to be out on the front step again with me cafe, watching everything going on on the street. There's not much going on in here today. Everybody got their cars packed, frightened didn't go anywhere, seen a burn gas. We were going to go for a Sunday drive, me and the husband, because that's what we usually do, see? We usually go for a Sunday drive, go to the rich part of town, see how the other half is living. Sure, we can't afford to get there. The goodness, I remember us back on Poverty Day. Do you remember it happened now back years ago, the day before you get paid, right? And then you're like, oh my jeez, I gotta go somewhere in the car, right? Not a bit of gas left in there, light left on and everything. And then you'd be scrounging up a bit of change. Whatever loose change you can find around the floor of your car now. Hopefully you come up with $10, right? $10 get you a lot of gas back then. What would it get you now? Wouldn't be able to turn the car around for $10 these days. I suppose y'all wants to be right nosy now and wonder, where have you been at? You haven't been here posting the videos. Well, I tell you where I've been at. I've been in the bed dying with the COVID. That's what I've been doing. Right? At least it's not burning gas to go anywhere. Lord jeez, I tell you, I think I had every symptom that was listed on the website. Oh yeah. And that's not the only thing, right? It's pretty much gone now, right? But the only symptom that seems to keep on lingering is the fact that I can't taste nothing. Sure, I can't even see me supper. I don't even know what it tastes like. Shocking, you know, that's an awful feeling to have when you can't taste what you're eating. But anyways, I said, I suppose, I guess there's worse things that could happen. Who's that coming down there now, huh? Flying down the road, youngsters out around everywhere playing hot scotch and everything. Cars and they're flying around. I came on here to tell you a bit of news. And then I got distracted talking about this, that, and the other thing. But anyway, Bonnie, remember her? This red truck guy's ex missus, right? The one that he got pregnant twice. She was there walking down the street now. It's that time of year now. She's starting to get out walking again, see with the youngsters. Anyway, I usually approaches her to get the news, but she approached me this time. That's because she knows Margaret and Red Truck Guy are the split spell, see? She wanted to find out a bit about it. I told her what she needed to know. That's enough. Well, I tell you, she did some complaining about Red Truck Guy. She said he paid one month's child support, nothing else after that, right? Now, I told her, I said, my members, Margaret, used to be telling me about this, and Margaret would be telling Red Truck Guy, you need to pay for your youngsters, right? You can't expect to get through life and not pay for your youngsters that you get. Anyways, it didn't sink in after first or last. Here he is trying to scam on the insurance companies and everything, sure. He's too busy. And Bonnie said, well, you know what? I'm going after him. She said, because I heard that red truck guy and his ex-wife were scamming the insurance company. She was pretending to be dead, right? And he was getting the payout to her. She said, well, she said, that's fine and dandy. She said, he can get that all he wants. She said, but I'm going after that. She said, for the child support. And I said to her, property, my darling, property. 